Hey, pleasant good evening and welcome everybody to another season of Commando football as tonight the Commandos here at home open the 2019 season against the out of state Gravit Lions. Again, welcome in everybody. Kevin Thames alongside Mike Porter. Excited to bring you another season of Commando football and certainly excited to bring you enhanced quality broadcast and God knows Mike I need all the help I can get and we've got it this year with extra video so not having to rely just on my butchered explanation of the play you'll be able to see it with your own eyes so certainly excited about that as we are here at Takasha getting ready to kick off the 2019 season. Again, thank you all for tuning in. And what is the 17th year of covering Casha Hall football and head coach Joe Medina. Wanted to say a huge thanks to our sponsors who enable this broadcast to happen every night and get you the extra video and all the sights and sounds of tonight's game and the rest of the year. And those sponsors are Lifeway Homes, Banning Contracting Services, Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics, Dr. Zellner and Associates, and Video Revolution, and Emerson Orthodontics, Dr. Clint Emerson. Again, welcome in everybody. Casha won the toss, they deferred. They are in their home navy blue jerseys and white pants, blue helmets. Kasha deferred. Gravitz will receive the opening kick. Wind out of the north tonight. Could not have asked for better weather to start the season. 81 degrees kickoff temperature and a wind out of the north. About 10 miles an hour. The Commando is looking to come off a season in which they made the playoffs but ended it shortly. A lot of injuries piled up and Joe Medina and staff hoping this season they can stay healthy and advance further. Kick, field it, and return on the 15. Across the 30, out near the 40-yard line for the Lions on the opening kick. So the Lions with good field position to open the game. Starting lineup for Kasha. Up front at one defensive end position, Grant Phillips, the senior. At the other defensive end position, J.J. Peters, a junior. And the nose guard, Owen Pazzo, a freshman. Your backers, Flynn Sage, the sophomore. Dylan Wilson, the junior. Jake Weller and Mike DeSelms, two seniors, are the other two linebackers. In the secondary, Bobby Byers, Andrew Warden, both juniors. And then in the back, Jackson Henderson and Zach Urin, both seniors. Gravit comes out under center, eye formation. And the running back looking for room over the right side. It's hit, fumble, and on the first play from scrimmage, the Commandos, that blue swarm defense, forced the fumble and will take over at the Lions' 38-yard line. So just like that, the Commandos, with tremendous field position, just one play in. Jackson Henderson will lead the offense for the Commandos from the far hash. Wide side near. They fake the bubble screen and go in deep and have a man wide open at the five. Looky there. Touchdown, Kesha. He couldn't have scripted any better. 38 yards from Henderson to Zach Grant. And the Commandos, just 32 seconds in, already up by six. Well, I'm sure Joe wanted a good start, but I don't think he could have scripted anything like that. Caballero on for the extra point. Dominic knocks it through, and just 32 seconds in, the Commandos are up by seven.
38 yards, Mike, is that correct? 38, thank you. Mike Porter always right there with the stats. The Lions won one game last year, and they struggled, and they are on their second head coach in as many years. I did not, Mike. I did not see who got the fumble. I apologize. I was blocked out by about four defenders in blue. Look at there, Mike. We're getting some help. Bobby Byers got the fumble. Recovery. Thank you. Dominic Caballero on for his second kickoff, just 32 seconds into the game. And what a great start for Cashier here to open the season. Short kick fielded at the 14, looking for room, coming near sight. As some green across the 20, hit at the 25, bounced out around the 27. So the Lions start right there. Season opener for both teams. Last year, Gravit had played a game, did they not, Mike? Before they had played us? Yeah. This year, both teams playing in week zero. Lions looking to bounce back. Cy Hilger, their quarterback. Draw play, nowhere to go. Wilson, Dylan Wilson, the junior, wraps him up behind the line of scrimmage at the 24. The defense came to play. Loss of three. Bring up second and long. Good job there by Dylan shooting the gap. A long developing play for the Lions. Again, grab it on their second head coach in as many years, so probably a, an entirely new system that these guys are working through. Second and long, Hilger fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, tries to dump it off at the 25 and nothing there. Zach, you're in with the hit there. He's all over the field tonight so far. As he was on the receiving end of that 38-yard bomb from Henderson. And Cash's only play from offense to put him up by seven. Zach with the hit there. Third and long for the Lions as they sort out what they want to do here. Three plays, an incomplete pass, a fumble, and a negative rush. Hard going, high snap. Hilger has to jump to get it and he's just running for his life at this point looking for room on the far side and he's pushed out behind the line of scrimmage and it brings up a fourth and long for the Lions so fourth and long back deep for the Commandos. Well, before we can get there, Kasha calls timeout. So we'll take a timeout as well. 10.02 left to play here in the first quarter. The Commandos dominating early. Fourth and long for the Lions and the Commandos, the good guys, up by seven. This is Commando Football. You are the wonder in my Wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up.
So fourth and 13 after the timeout, the commandos now with two left. They change it up and only one person back deep for cash up. A wobbly spiral that we fielded at the 49 of Kasha. Coming near sight is Zach looking for room. He's inside the 40, 35 near sight, pointing out some blocks ahead of him. And finally, hog collared out of bounds at the Lion 22. 29 yards on the return by Zach, and he's been busy. here early on. Henderson out of the shotgun. Weller to his left, they'll keep it with Weller. Makes a move inside the 15, still on his feet. Head down, tough running. Good hard seven yard run there by Jake. Talking to Mike before the game, it seems like Jake Weller should be 35 years old with married and three kids by now. He's been around forever, Mike, which is a good thing. Good football player. Second and three for Casha. Weller again looking for room, nothing there. <laughs> Penetration up front brings up third and three. Kasha up by seven. 8.45, clock moving here in the first. Offset eye, Henderson fakes the handoff, feeling pressure, having to roll, looking for a man. And he's got Byers overthrown near side in the back corner of the end zone. Flag is down back at the 24. Let's see what we got here. And while they sort that out, huge thanks to Banning Contracting Services, a proud sponsor of tonight's game, a service committed to flawless execution and 100% customer satisfaction. They're based in Tulsa, and they offer the highest quality and best cost IT telecommunication solutions, providing services to government contracts all over the world. They are the industry leader in technology design and installation. And they are putting IT all together. Don't forget, at Banning, they have a staff that includes 33% military veterans. So big thanks to Banning Contracting Services. Personal foul on Grabbit on that third down play. Late hit on Jackson Henderson, the quarterback. So it'll be first and goal for the good guys. And on first down, Weller cuts it back up the middle, puts his head down, still turning his feet, and makes something out of nothing. He drives down inside the three to the two yard line. It'll be second and goal. I'll officially say he's down at the three. Big break there for Cashup with the personal foul that extended this drive. You would think Joe probably would have gone for it, but he did not have to make that decision. Full house backfield, Weller hit as soon as he gets the handoff. And Lions getting good penetration up front on some of these runs. No gain. That brings up third and goal from the three. Kasha will stay with their tank formation, that full house set. Jackson under center. He's going corner of the end zone and overthrown. Intended for Byers in the far side. So now fourth and goal. And Dominic Caballero is nowhere to be found, at least not next to Joe Medina. So Kasha. We'll be going for it. Up by seven, 7.08 to play here in the first quarter. 
The Commandos on their first play from scrimmage after Gravit fumbled on their first play with a 38-yard touchdown pass. That's the counter for our points. A fake to the no. They give it to the fullback up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Kasha. So on fourth down, the Commandos finally able to punch it through. And with 7.01 on the clock. The extra point good. And the Commandos up by 14. They convert on fourth down after the penalty kept the drive alive. Just about midway through the first quarter, the Commandos up by 14. This is Commando Football. Hey folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look. Dylan Wilson's three yard touchdown run gets Kasha up by 14. You're just about midway through the first quarter. At this point, Dominic's gonna need some ice for his leg by halftime. Already his third kickoff. And again, angled short, fielded at the 20, fumbled, dropped on inside the 20. So not a whole lot going right for Gravit. Although, I would bet Joe would probably say, doesn't like some of the penetration up front in the offensive line as they have gotten into the commando backfield several times. Once again, I want to say a huge thanks to one of our title sponsor, Lifeway Homes, providing the highest quality homes at affordable prices. Is family owned and operated, Mike Harrison and his wife Brenda. And they have been serving the Tulsa area for over 15 years. You can create your custom home inside and out, and you'll be blown away by what you can do with a prefab or modular home design. You can go see them at lifewayhomes.net. That's lifewayhomes.net or 918-621-4663. 918-621-4663. Six two one four six six three, and again, big thanks to Mike Harrison and his wife Brenda for being one of our title sponsors. Six forty to play here in the first quarter. Not sure what the delay is. There we go. Father Hamill Field at Ray's Siegfried Stadium. The site tonight. Cassius shows blitz on first down. Hilger running for his life near side. And he'll smartly run out of bounds at the 13-yard line being pressured by Wilson and Flynn Sage, the talented sophomore. You'll see a lot of guys rotating on defense here in the first game, but they pretty young defense. Only five seniors on this starting defense for the Commandos, the Blue Swarm, second and 11. Tight bunch formation for Gravit. They'll send a man in motion on the jet sweep. Man, it gets not a lot. Jake Weller there on the tackle after a loss of one. 
As that didn't fool anybody. Mike was mentioning that in his research for this game, Gravit was mercy ruled seven times last year over in Arkansas. Evidently, they have a mercy rule. Third and long for Hilger and the offense for Gravit. He will tuck it and run, and he's across the 30 and up near the 33-yard line. The first first down for the Lions, and it comes just halfway through the first quarter. So much pressure around the sides. It opened up a huge hole up the middle, and he took advantage. And Hilger's done, Hilger did what he's been doing most of the game, and that's running for his life. And that time it worked out for him. So first and 10 for the Lions from their own 33. Kasha up by 14. Two receivers near side. Looking for a room up the middle of the running back. Not a lot there. Pushed out on the far sideline around the 31. Wilson over there. Grant Phillips, the senior defensive end, there to push him out as well. Loss of two. Next week, Kasha on the road at Holland Hall. Then an off week before Millwood comes to town. That'll be a good game. Hard count. And as you might expect here early on, the commandos with as much success as they have had getting to the quarterback, can't help themselves. They jump, and an easy five yards for Gravit makes it second and seven with 4.53 to play here in the first. Mike, this official likes to use his whistle a lot. Second and seven. Trips right for Hilger. Again, rolling near side, looking for somebody, and he's going to be pushed out after a two or three yard gain, just shy of the 40. Hilger, six foot junior for the Lions, has been their only weapon thus far. See if the defense can step up here and force a punt third and we'll call it four from the 39. Grab it. Looking back to see if they want to change the play. Grab it's head coach was an assistant coach for one year over at uh, Union. Play clock running down. The Lions call timeout. Tonight's game brought to you by our Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics. They are located at 4545 South Harvard. Route 66 Dental is equipped with the latest technology in 3D imaging, laser surgery, and virtual implants. You can schedule your appointment with Dr. David Wong, an Oklahoma native and board certified periodontologist who's just as much fun as he is professional. You can get a hold of Dr. Wong at 918-749-1850, 918-749-1850. Or you can get him online at root66implants.com. That's root66implants. Dot com. So a big thanks to the guys over at Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics for being one of the title sponsors of our broadcast. Third and four for the Lions. Pass intercepted at the 42. Uren steps in front of him, and he's brought down inside the 20. And Zach, as we mentioned earlier, has been all over the place. The second turnover here in the first quarter. 
the Commandos with great field position take over at the Lions 18. Zach just read Hilger's eyes right there. Long developing plate. And just stepped right in front of him. And just had one man to beat. Or he was in there for the pick six. Already back to it. Weller on first down. Up the middle gets a couple. The Commandos now two for two on offensive possessions. Looking to make it three for three as we tick down to four minutes to play here in the first quarter. And as the home opener and season opener for the 2019 football season for Casho. Fake to the fullback. Weller over the right. Hops over a tackle at the line of scrimmage. But tripped up and falls forward now near the 13-yard line. And grab it as an injured player at the 15. So we'll take a quick timeout. Third and f just shy of five for the Commandos. When we come back, 14 nothing. good guys on top. This is Commando football season opener here in 2019. Banning CS is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting edge technology, we offer a full suite of low voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not gonna drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. After the injury timeout, the Commandos with a third and four. We'll send a man in motion from left to right. And they'll keep it on the ground with Jake. Bounces off a man at the 11, puts his head down hard, running by Weller. And that'll be enough for the first down, and that'll give the Commandos a first and goal. Just your typical nice hard run by Jake Weller that we've become accustomed to here over the past three plus years. So first and goal just inside the eight. The Commandos looking to dent the scoreboard for a third time tonight here in the first quarter. Henderson surveys the defense, same play. Weller skips inside the five and met there. All things seem to be clicking for the Commandos. The run game just a little bit slow to get going. Just a little sluggish. Two and a half minutes to play here in the first. On a beautiful night. Wind actually out of the north. I can't remember the last time we had a game in the first couple weeks of the season where the wind was out of the North on the counter play, close to the end zone. Looked like he was down. And they're gonna say Weller hit, did fumble. I thought he was down. Fumble at the one. I think it's a horrible call. He had already hit the ground. Well, that one hurts. So now the Commandos with a turnover of their own. Grab it with two. And now Kasha with one. 
This evening's game brought to you by Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. They have over 120 years of combined doctoral experience. Dr. Zellner and Associates are proud to offer you the $99 deal covering an eye exam and a stylish pair of eyeglasses. We have been setting the eye care standard in Tulsa for over 25 years. You can visit the doctors at either of their two locations, and you can book the right exam for you by going online to drzellner.com. That's drzellner.com. First down for the Lions. Hard run up near the four-yard line, maybe the five. You can reach Dr. Zellner on Harvard at 918-749-2020 or the Memorial location at 918-461-2020. On Harvard at 918-749-2020 or over on Memorial at 918-461-2020. Second and long, the Lions keep it on the ground and not playing that time. Sage in there on the tackle along with Wilson. Don't forget Flynn Sage, just a sophomore. Called Dylan Wilson's name quite a few times tonight as well. Third and nine as we approach the one minute mark here in the first quarter. The commando is up by 14. Grab it, trying to make something happen after they force the fumble at the goal line. Busted play, Hilgert being pushed out of the back of the end zone. Let's it go as he is chased. And whistles abound. Nope, they'll say no intentional grounding. He was out of the pocket. Surprised he wasn't out of the back of the end zone. A ballerina tiptoeing back there, I assure you. But a busted play from the start. They are lucky to get out of it without losing two points. And to be honest, the way they're punt team looked the first couple times. This has got disaster written all over it. And it's not a good punt. Bounces at the 15. Everybody just needs to get away, and they do. And down at the 16. 12 yards, Mike, on the punt. Looked like my 60-degree lob wedge on a good day. So the turnover costs Kasha 15 yards, if you want to look at it that way. Still up by 14. John Martin Woolman in the backfield for Weller. They'll fake to him. Henderson with a bullet to Wilson at the seven and dropped. Took his eyes off of it as he was looking to turn and burn into the end zone. Nice throw by Jackson. Wilson dropped his head and couldn't believe it after he dropped the pass. Mike, he's thinking, how many more times are they going to call that play tonight? I may have just missed my chance. That would have been my second touchdown of the first quarter. So second and ten. Woolman stays in there. They will keep it with him, and he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That is a busted block up front. Results in a negative play. Actually, they'll say he, he got back to the line of scrimmage. That should be the last play of the third quarter, or excuse me, of the first quarter. So third and long for the Commandos when we come back. A nice first quarter. But certainly you can see some aspects where you would say, yep, this is the first game of the year. However, you're on top, up by 14, and looking to make it more when you start the second quarter. Can't ask for a whole lot more than that. A successful first 12 minutes for Kasha to start the season. They're up by 14. The second quarter... 
coming up in just a minute. Before we go there, I want to give a special thanks to our friends over at Video Revolution. They've been helping you with cutting edge electronics since 1982. Video Revolution specializes in home theater installations, repairs, and media conversions. And they are now creating communication solutions for Oklahoma businesses too. Video Revolution carries a long list of premium brand electronics. You can join the revolution at 7030 South Lewis Avenue. At 7030 South Lewis, videorevolution.com. And of course, you can reach them at 918 918- 495-0586-918-495-0586. And we'll keep it here. Mike, I need the sun to go down just a little bit more, and we'll be all right. So as we start the second quarter, third and 10, Henderson looking for the slant, and it's caught by Myers at the five, dragging some tacklers. Down to the one. What a bullet by Henderson. And Byers with a nice job of using his body to go up and shield the defender. And then dragging two of them down to the one. A nice conversion for the Commandos. And it's a first and goal for Kashup from the Lion one yard line. Wilman stays in the backfield and they'll keep it with him and he's got a huge hole and he walks it in. Touchdown! Cash up! Woman on the one yard touchdown run. And the Commandos starting to pull away. They now lead by 20. Henderson stays to hold the extra point attempt. Caballero, of course, is good with the extra point attempt. So a one yard touchdown run by the senior, John Martin Woman. It gives the Commandos a 21 point lead. We'll be back with the kick. This is Commando Football. So the Commandos up 21 nothing. I want to give a shout out to the guys over at Emerson Orthodontics. Another proud sponsor here tonight. Uh, Emerson Orthodontics, they were voted the number one orthodontist in the Tulsa area. They, uh, offer safe and gentle treatment. Options to give you customized individual care that you deserve. We have two locations in Broken Arrow and Midtown. And they also have invisible treatment with Invisalign for teens and adults. Fumble on the kick. And Mike, cue the rugby scrum. And Kasha has it. Nick Choquette with the fumble recovery for the Commandos. And it's starting to get a little ugly. The third turnover of the evening for Gravit. So, special thanks to Dr. Clint Emerson over at Emerson Orthodontics. Don't forget, you can visit them online at emersonbraces.com. That's emersonbraces.com. Or you can reach them at 918-459-0092. That's 918-459-0092. 
Jackson's first down pass into traffic, deflected, and falls harmlessly to the turf. And from the Gravit 27 yard line, brings up second and 10. Wilson, the fullback, and he gets the carry over the right side, dragging the tackler down to the 25, a gain of two, maybe three. Nice hard running by the junior fullback. So third and we'll call it a long seven because it's our football. If it was their football, it'd be third and eight. That's just the truth. Mike, one receiver left. That's Byers. Wilson, your fullback. They fake to him. Henderson, plenty of time. Now he's going to lob it to the end zone for his tight end, and it's caught inside the five, out of bounds at the two. Patrick Pixley. And it was a jump ball. I think Jackson will probably be using that several times this year when you have a seven foot seven giant tight end. I think he's actually like 6'5", Mike, but he's huge. And it works. Pixley was pushed out around the two. Actually at the one. So first and goal at the one. Henderson gives it to Wilson over the left side and he's in. Touchdown, cash up. Untouched in the end zone was Dylan Wilson. The junior. And with 10.31 to play here in the first half, Kashup up by a lot. They lead by 27 pending the PAT. Good snap back and Caballero's kick right on the money. Nick Shokett. Shokett got the fumble recovery, yeah. That happens three times a year, Mike, where I get who got the, who got the fumble. And that was one of three. So after Caballero's extra point attempt, <laughs> Cashel leads 28 nothing. And Gravit just trying to get any kind of traction going at all on offense. Dominic out for the kickoff. That'll be his first, second, third, fourth. This will be his fifth kickoff of the evening. And we're only a minute and a half into the second quarter. Good Lord. Caballero's kick, this time fielded cleanly and across the 30, out near the 32 on the return for Gravit. Is Millsap, the sophomore running back. Through one quarter, Gravit with 15 yards of offense. And they got all 15 of those on one run by the quarterback. Other than that, it has been tough sledding against this Blue Swarm defense. Jet sweep on first down for the Lions, and not a lot there. In fact, negative seven yards worth of there as it's pushed out and strung out. Grant Phillips with a nice job, along with Dylan Wilson. 
of stringing that out, Flynn Sage there as well. Making sure there was no room to turn the corner. They use that speed, so a loss of seven brings up second and 17 now for Hilgert. And the Lions looking for something to get going. Out of the pistol, Hilgert, quick throw, far side, incomplete, well overthrown. So third and long. So after that seven yard loss, grab it with now eight yards of total offense. Cash is showing blitz and they back off of it. Hilbert rolling to his right, trying to find some room to the middle like he did last time, and he's got a little across the 35, 40, 43, 44. Oh, God. Just containment there. That's what cost Kasha on Hilbert's last run on third down. Hilbert, a little slow to get back onto the field. about to croak out there. He's hurting, like he got hit hard in the stomach, I think. I think. Thought Gravit was gonna use a timeout because Hilger is hurting, yeah, they're gonna use a timeout. Timeout called by the Lions. As they will look at Hilger, the quarterback. Cy Hilger, who's been running for his life, he took a good pop over there on the far sidelines. 9.08 to play here in the first half. The Commando's up by 28. This is Commando Football. You are the wonder in my wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm gonna make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I wanna be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lua. After the timeout, first and 10 for the Lions. They're furthest they have gotten tonight. Hilgert with the zone read. Hit at the line of scrimmage as the running back. And no gain there. Aiden Heatherman in on a tackle. For Cashin. Brings up second and 10. You can tell that things aren't going the best for Grabbit as their new quarterback is hit by Phillips on the quarterback keeper. There's a large discrepancy in size there between those two. Hard hit by Phillips, the defensive end for Kasha. And now the starting quarterback, Hilbert, back in after a couple play break. Be a long bus ride home, but plenty of time for ice for Hilbert. Eight minutes on the clock, it's moving. 28 nothing, the commandos. Kasha is showing blitz, and they're coming, Hilbert. Off his back foot, throwing deep, and he's got a man complete inside the 20, down to the 15. The best play of the night, Ian Drake, the 
junior wide receiver got past Byers. And man, a little stunned, but it was a great throw by Hilger. Even off his back foot, especially what kind of arm the Lions quarterback has. First time in Cache territory tonight. From the commando 13. Near hash. Two receivers left, one the right. Hilger looking to his right, and it is caught at the 10, a gain of three. Drake couldn't keep his feet after he cut it and slid down to a knee. So it brings up second and seven. Again, a big thanks to Banning Contracting Services, Banning CS, a proud sponsor of tonight's game. They are committed to flawless execution and 100% customer satisfaction based in Tulsa. They offer the highest quality and best cost IT telecommunication solutions. Second and eight. Run up the middle, gets two or three, brings up third and manageable for grab it as they push inside the commando 10. Banning CS, an industry leader in technology design and installation. They're putting IT all together. Don't forget, it's a small, small business with a staff that includes 33% military veterans. Banning CS, proud title sponsor tonight. You can see them online at banningcs.com. The blitz for Cash it and you know, excuse me, Hilger gets it away in the double coverage to Drake and it's well overthrown and Hilger took a shot after he was escaping the blitz. Man, he's hobbled yet again. He is hurting all over, trying to get that shoulder worked out. So 28 nothing, 6-13 to play here in the first half. The Lions, not a whole lot of choice except to go for it. Let's see what they have in mind. 13 on the play clock, and the quarterback is beat and battered in the sore shoulder. Go with a tight formation. Motion up front. Now let's see here. For the play, Gravit calls a Timeout. Timeout. Call by the so a timeout on the field. 28 nothing the score. 6 11 to play here in the first half. Fourth and six for the commandos. Excuse me, for Gravit when we come back. This is Commando Football. Hey folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look. So fourth, they've got third down. Mike, I thought it was, it is fourth down. They've got third down on the marker. Fourth down on the scoreboard, but it is fourth down. There, they changed it, now we're good. The Lions will split two receivers to the far side of the field. And grab it. Is going to see how many timeouts they can use in a row. And now we're at two. We'll keep it here. Tonight's game brought to you by our Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics. Route 66 Implants located at 4545 South Harbor. We are equipped with the latest technology in 3D imaging, laser surgery, and virtual implants. You can schedule your appointment today with Dr. David Wong, an Oklahoma native and board certified periodontologist. And Mike, don't forget, Dr. Wong is just as much fun as he is professional. Call Dr. Wong at 918-749-1850, 918-749-1850. Or hit that interweb at root66implants.com. Give a huge thanks to all of our sponsors that are bringing you the video and audio 
of tonight's game. The sun now behind the trees out west. We can see the field. Fourth and seven. Man in motion from left to right. Pilger blitz, or excuse me, feeling pressure up the middle. Has some room near side. Hits the 15, throws across his body, and it is complete to Drake, his favorite receiver. That was the lethal combo on that drive. Cash it, in, excuse me, rushed three and dropped eight. As beat and battered as Hilker is, he used his athleticism to find some extra time. And he's got no problem going to his left and throwing across his body. He's done it several times tonight. And did it that time and snuck it into a tight window to Drake, the junior wide receiver. And their strongest offensive weapon. So the Lions on the board midway through the second quarter. The extra point attempt is blocked and deflected wide right. And that'll make the score 28 to six. Breeze picking up a little bit. That was one. All right, 6.02 to play here in the first half. Grab it, finally on the board. The Commandos still lead at 28 to six. This is Commando Football. Banny CS is a service disabled veteran owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting edge technology, we offer a full suite of low voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not gonna drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. So grab it on to kick off for the first time tonight. 28-6 and a short pooch kick that bounces the cash at 31. Picked up on the hop and across the 35 up near the 38. So good field position for the Commandos. Dylan Wilson already has two touchdowns tonight. Wilson with the return there. Don't forget Lifeway Homes, a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Provide the highest quality homes at affordable prices. You'll be blown away by all that you can do with a prefab or modular home design nowadays. Hillman on first down, looking to move over the right side, gets three up across the fourth to the 41, second down. Lifeway Homes helping good people find great homes. Family owned and operated. Go see Mike Harrison and his wife, Brenda. They have been serving the Tulsa area for over 15 years. Guys, I'm serious, you'll be shocked at what you will be able to do nowadays. At Lifeway Homes. Go see them at lifewayhomes.net. That's lifewayhomes.net. Henderson on second down, looking for down the middle, Trent Westbrook, who is triple cover. Ball is incomplete. Good coverage in the secondary by the Lions. Not a bad idea, Cash had not gone deep in a while. But the Lions did not fall asleep, and it was well covered. Brings up third and seven. Myers split left outside. One back, that's Hillman. Henderson looking, throwing a man wide open at the 40. Inside the 35 30, 25 20. That's Sage inside the 15 10 5. Truck down at the 2. But a flag down on the far sideline over at the 22. Let's see what that is. Sage was wide open. And a lot of times, those are the hardest throws as a quarterback to make because you don't want to mess it up. He's so wide open. And it's a personal foul on Kasha. Flag at the 23. And we'll back it up 15 and on the first. And 10 from the, from the 22, so it's 
seven. All right, Mike, I'll let you figure that out with your stats. Ticking inside of five minutes to play here in the first half. 28-6 the score. The Commandos scored the first 28 before the Lions put together a nice little drive and bounced on the board. So first and 10 Commandos in Lions territory. Quick bubble screen out. Complete to your end. He's down to the 30. Picked up about eight or so on that play. Picks up second and two. The Commandos continuing to rotate a lot of people in and out here in the opening game of the season. Come on, Dave, get the ball. Peyton Hicks, the split right. Fires in motion from left to right. Backwards pass to Byers. He's still searching for some. Gets back near the line of scrimmage and pushed out there. That was a backwards pass. Did not see if they were trying to set up something downfield. Byers could have thrown it downfield with that backwards pass. But tried to use his speed to hit the corner. But well covered. No game, brings up third and two. Go deep! Go deep! Go deep. Go deep. Go deep. You're in. Tillman on the counter, bounces it out, hit from behind. He fumbles, let's see who gets back on it. He was hit from behind. Our ball! I think it's gonna be a Lions football. Touchdown, grab it, getting some momentum on their side. And turning the football over, great way to give them some. 348 to play here in the first half, and cash up 28-6. Lions send the man in motion from right to left. Dover finally gets the handoff to the running back, and he is stuck. Back there behind the line of scrimmage. And nothing there. Wilson in on the stick. Along with Grant Phillips, I'll tell you what, those two have been all over the field. Loss of one. Brings up second and 11. play clock. The Lions get it in. They'll go with two receivers left and two to the right. Snap back. Hilger automatically rolling to his left near side. Gonna tuck it and run. Gets a block and then they will get up across the 30. Around the 31. Gain of two, maybe three. Again, special thanks to Dr. Robert, Robert Zellner and Associates, another Proud sponsor of tonight's broadcast. Dr. Zellner and Associates are proud to offer you the $99 deal covering an eye exam and a stylish pair of eyeglasses. Dr. Z and the rest of the staff have been setting the eye, eye care standard in Tulsa for over 25 years. Third and seven, Hilger, underhanded pitch. Pass and falls incomplete, brings up fourth and long, dealing pressure from both sides. Hicksley there on the pressure as well. So fourth and seven. Don't forget, you can see doctors at either of Dr. Z's two locations. And they can book the right exam for you. Or you can go online to drzellner.com. So fourth and eight. Grab it trying to draw cash off sides. Or it's going to be a 
quick snap than he wants, and that's probably what it's going to be, but it's a horrible snap, but Pilgrim gets it off, in over in, Byers fields it on the run at the 40, quick stop, one toss to 45. Again, thanks to Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Don't forget to go to either one of their locations on Harvard or Memorial, the Harvard store, and call them at 918-749-2020. That's 918-749-2020. Or you can get them over at the Memorial location at 918-461-2020. Don't forget, that's Dr. Zellner, Z-O-E-L-L-N-E-R.com online. First and 10, cash after the punt, and the six yard return by Byers. Some more points on the board here before the end of the first half. Set up the screen to Hellman. Right down from behind. Right at the line of scrimmage. No game. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Commando with one timeout left. Plenty of time on the clock. Quickly back up to the line of scrimmage. Quick out, complete far sideline, and pushed out right near the first down marker. It's Aiden Hicks, the freshman. And that will be enough for a first down. Nice throw by Jackson. Swinging it out to a freshman. Mike, you and I go in through the roster. They have a huge freshman class here at Kasha this year. Maybe one of the biggest I've seen. A bunch of freshmen and a bunch of them will get playing time. First day and 10, Henderson rolling to his right, plants his foot, pass, caught by Byers. What a diving catch at the Gravit 36. Gain of eight. Clock moving down around the two minute mark. Brings up second and two. Cashel leads by 22. Offset eye. Wilson, the fullback with his head down. He'll hurry ahead enough to get a first down. He'll stop the clock and move the chains. Down to the grab at 34. And the clock back in motion already. That was quick. Henderson, quick out, near side, incomplete. Intended for. West Brock throwing behind him. Second and ten. Lots of good for the Commandos, but some first game mistakes that you might expect holding them back. First half, second and ten. Fake both ways. Henderson rolling. Has some open room. Decides to cut it inside the 30. And turns up and six. Clock will continue to move. And count third and short. Third. Call it three. Byers splits left. Uran's splits right. Henderson pump fake. Looking for Zach in the corner of the end zone, and he can't find it. Pass ball is incomplete. And 54 seconds on the clock, it'll bring it fourth down. Special thanks to our friends over at Video Revolution. Been helping you with cutting edge electronics since 1982. Specializing in home theater installations, repairs, and media conversions. And they are now creating communication solutions for Oklahoma businesses, too. Video Revolution carries a long list of premium brand electronics. You can join that revolution today over at 7030 South Lewis, 7030 South Lewis. Or you can get them online at videorevolution.com. That's videorevolution.com. You can reach out to them at 918-495-0586, another proud sponsor of tonight's broadcast. So fourth and three for the Commandos. Henderson with one back to his left. Come on, Brown, Yelsey, 
left and one right. Anderson feeling pressure, eludes that man, and it's passed far sideline to Byers. Caught. Excuse me, not Byers. Let's see who that is for you, Mike. Come on! Mind you. No, it's Andrew Worthen on the catch, Mike. Down to the 20, stops the clock, 48 seconds left. First day in 10. Pressure from behind, he eludes it, rolls to his left, fires deep in the end zone, it is. Is it caught? Yes! Touchdown, Kasha! Off the deflection. Oh, what a catch and concentration in the back of the end zone. What a catch by Aiden Hicks, the freshman. Dominic Caballero's kick is good. Timeout, 37.6 seconds left. A bullet throw by Jackson Henderson. And Hicks, the freshman, able to be there behind the DB off the deflection, got his foot down and caught it. And with 37 seconds left, the Commandos lead 35-6. We'll take a quick timeout, be back after this. This is Commando Football. Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. 35-6 the score for the Commandos. Kasha will receive the opening kick of the second half as they won the toss and defer. What a drive there by the Commandos. On several fronts, one to get some points before the end of the half, two to run the clock down to 35. The kick booted again and Ball finally hopped on by a lion around the 17 yard line with 32 seconds left. If you want to go see the number one orthodontist or who was voted number one in the Tulsa area, don't forget to go check out Dr. Clint Emerson over at Emerson Orthodontics. The great guy who loves to see Tulsa smile. They offer safe and gentle treatment options to give you customized individual care that you deserve. Don't forget they have the invisible treatment with Invisalign for not only teens, but adults. First day and 10, the Lions draw up the middle. Huge game, all saved, 30. By Jackson Henderson. And as it is, a first down run across the 30 up near the 32. Clock starting to run again. Flags down. Kasha has one timeout and they will use it. Don't forget, Dr. Clint Emerson has two locations one in Broken Arrow and one in Midtown. You can visit them online at emersonbraces.com. That's E M E R S O N braces.com. You can give them a shout at 918 459 0092. It's 918 459 0 to Dr. Quint Emerson in voted the number one orthodontist in the Tulsa area. 35-6 to score, 14.1 seconds left. Both teams out of timeout. Cash has scored the first 28 points of the game. Grab it, put together a drive. For the first time they crossed midfield, they went on the score. Missed the extra point, and then the Commandos 
return the favor and up 35-6. The rabbit keeps it on the ground. Awesome. Not a lot there. J.J. Peters, the junior, sticks the running back for grabbing for a loss of three, and that'll be the last play of the first half. Thirty-five six to score here at half. The opening game of the 2019 season for the Commandos. And a good half it was. They lead 35-6. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have all of Mike Porter's first half statistics and much, much more. This is Commando Football. Banning CS is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting-edge technology, we offer a full suite of low-voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not going to drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. Hey folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home, or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look. Here at the half, the Commandos lead 35-6 in the season opener and home opener. Mike, as Mike finished those finishes, those first half statistics. Don't forget tonight's game brought to you by our Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics. You can schedule your appointment with Dr. David Wong. Call 918-749-1850, 918-749-1850. You can go online at Route66Implants.com. That's Route66Implants.com. Dr. David Wong, located over at 4545 South Harbor. And they are equipped with the latest technology in 3D imaging, laser surgery, and virtual implants. Route 66 Dental Implants and Periodontics sponsor for tonight's game. Casha leads 35-6. The Commandos got out first. The first play of the game, grab it, fumble. And the Commandos immediately turned around and went deep. And 38 yards later, hit Pater on their first offensive play. And that was a sign of things to come. The Commandos raced out to a 28-point lead. Grab it finally dented the scoreboard with a touchdown pass. Midway through the second quarter, make it 28-6, and Kasha was able to get a touchdown late in the first half on a beautiful throw from Henderson to Hicks. Quick look at your statistics. First downs, Kasha with eight, grab it with four. The Commandos, 19 carries, 53 yards, 19 for 53. Henderson through the air for Cash, 10 out of 17 for 195. 10 out of 17 for 195 yards. Cash did fumble twice. Lost both of them. They had two penalties for 20 yards. Rabbit, 19 carries for 49 yards, 19 for 49. So very, very similar on the ground. Although the bulk of Rabbit's yards have been on two runs by Hilger. Through the air, grab it, not as successful. Three of nine for 55 with that one interception. Kasha has not punted tonight. Grab it with three punts with a 19 yard average. Three turnovers in the first half for the Lions from Arkansas. One interception and two fumbles. Grab it, fumbled four times, was fortunate to recover two of those. And they had one penalty for eight yards. At the end of the first quarter, the Commandos led 14-0. And here at the half, Kasha 
with a 35 to six score. Again, could not ask for better weather in a home opener. Wind out of the north, temperature in the upper 70s. It just does not get much better than this. The band for Grab It about ready to play. And we'll step aside so you guys can watch them. Before we go, don't forget Lifeway Homes, a title sponsor tonight. Lifeway Homes providing the highest quality homes at affordable prices. You will be absolutely be blown, aw blown away by what you can do with a prefab or modular home design today. Create your home inside and out. Customize it to what you want. And don't forget, Mike and Brenda Harrison help good people find a great home over there at Lifeway Homes. You can find them at lifewayhomes.net. That's lifewayhomes.net. Or at 918-621-4663. That's 918-421-4663. Again, at the half, 35-6, your score. We'll take an extended timeout. And when we come back, you'll be able to watch the Gravit Band perform and other halftime festivities. Again, here at Father Hamill Field at Ray Siegfried Stadium. About 14 and a half minutes left before the end of the half. Kasha gets the ball to start the second half. The home opener's been a good one so far. Kasha leads 35-6. This is Commando Football. the wonder in my wonderful you put the happy in my happiness the girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream the sugar in my cup I'll gladly let you fill it up Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis.
ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement for you. There are several vehicles blocking cars on the grass. A black Toyota Sequoia tag GVQ278 needs to be moved as soon as possible. There is a black Toyota Sequoia tag GVQ278 needs to be moved ASAP. Banny CS is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting-edge technology, we offer a full suite of low-voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not going to drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. You are the wonder in my wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up. Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season is the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home, or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look.
And welcome back here at half the commandos. Insert the fun with the commanding 35-6 lead. Home opener, season opener here in 2019. The commandos will get the ball to start the second half and see if they can pile on some more points. Quick reminder, Banning CS, another one of the title sponsors for our broadcast tonight. They are committed to flawless execution and 100% customer satisfaction. Banning Contracting Services is based in Tulsa. They offer the highest quality and best cost IT telecommunication solutions. And they provide services to government contracts all over the world. Don't forget they are the industry leader in technology, design, and installation perhaps most important. Banning CS, a small business, has a staff that includes 33% military veterans and owned by a veteran as well. Banning CS, putting IT all together. Visit them online at banningcs.com. That's banningcs.com. Give the guys a shout. 918-394-4450. 918-394-4450. Three nine four 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 five zero, and also a quick shout out to Dr. Zellner and Associates. Dr. Z and Associates, over 120 years of combined doctoral experience. They are proud to offer you the $99 deal covering an eye exam and a stylish pair of eyeglasses. They have set the eye care standard in Tulsa for over 25 years. And you can visit one of the doctors at either of the two locations and book the right exam for you all online. All you have to do is go to drzellner.com. That's Dr. Zellner, Z-O-E-L-L-N-E-R.com. Big thanks to Dr. Z and Associates. Their place over on Harvard. You can give them a shout at 918-749-2020. That's 918-749-2020. Or at the Memorial location, 918-461-2020. The second half underway. The Lions kick mercilessly, mercilessly falls out of bounds. So the Commandos with good field position to start the second half. The score may fool you. You would expect the stats to be completely wombosidal, wombus. Completely backwards. But both teams, with the nine yards on the ground, the Commandos with a big advantage to the year. The Lions with one good drive, put points on the board, other than that they've been shut down. Commandos on first down, will keep it on the ground. Henderson hands off to his tailback, gain of three, maybe four. And on a couple of yards on the carry, that's second down. Decent little game, brings up second and seven. One receiver left, one to the right. And big room over the left side. That'll be enough for the first down. Into grabbing territory down to the 44 yard line. Number 10. That's Jason Ward, the tailback in there, another freshman. We mentioned how big that freshman class was. They are getting plenty of work early on. 
Of course, another one of the freshmen, Aiden Hicks, with a nice touchdown grab before the end of the first half. From the Lion 44. Rolling to his right is Henderson. He plants, throws, caught at the 35 yard line. And that's Andrew Morley, the junior. Just shy of a first down. So rotating tailbacks, Dylan Wilson, still your fullback. And tight ends, still with Flint Sage and Patrick Pixley. Byers splits left, Hicks splits right here on second and short. Wilson will move the chains down to the 31. Nice hard run there by Dylan, who has himself two touchdowns tonight. First and ten. Henderson has gone the way at quarterback. I'd be surprised if we see Frederick Rouse up here in a little bit. Wilson again on the ground, surging ahead down to the 25. Good push up front. The second half, the offensive line seems to, at least on this drive, have they've gelled a little bit, a little more cohesion. The running game was real jagged in the first half. Commanders only averaged three or four yards carry on the ground, even though they were up 35-6. Fake to Wilson. And keep it on the ground with Ward. Looking for room. And some up near the first down. Near the 21. Let's see. That's enough, no, just shy, I mean, 30 and short. Let's see what Joe decides to do here, third and short. You figure you have two downs to get. And the yard, they'll go with their, their tank formation. And it's Ward who bounces it outside. He's got the speed to do it. Look out of bounds. We're on his head near the Lion 16. Kind of move the chains. Special thanks to our friends over at Video Revolution. We've been helping you with cutting edge electronics since 1982. Specializing in home theater installations, repairs, and media conversions. And they are now creating communication solutions for Oklahoma businesses too. They carry a long list of premium brand electronics. You can join that revolution at 7030 South Lewis. Henderson with a good fake, rolling to his right, has his man pushed out of bounds at the five yard line. That's Pixley, excuse me, that's Sage. I need to tell Joe that when we have the tight ends and they're both tall and one's 15 and one's 85, Makes it hard on an old man like myself. Again, a nice pass on the on the rollout by Henderson. So first and goal for the Commandos. From the near hash, full house set. Wilson looking for his third touchdown of the night, trying to get there, and he's pushed back by a host of Lion defenders. But he'll manage his way down near the three. Flags are down. This looks to be maybe a formation penalty. <laughs> Waiting for the official signal. They talk to you. Illegal formation on the commandos. Go back it up. First down. So first and goal from the 10 for the Commandos on a long drive. Four and a half minutes almost. Cash it will stay with that full house set. Byers, the lone receiver, he is split left, and that's where Henderson is going to look for the corner of the end zone, and Byers could not get turned around. And 
For the first time tonight, I think the wind had an effect. Lucky enough to be right behind that pass, and it just got hung up in the wind coming out of that north. The candles moving left to right, south to north. And that unusual early season north breeze, it just fluttered and died. So second and goal from the 10. Thanks to Dr. Clint Emerson over at Emerson Orthodontics, our sponsor of tonight's broadcast. Really great guy, and he loves to see Tolson smile. And you can smile more yourself with the invisible treatment with Invisalign or your braces, not only for teens, but for adults. They offer safe and gentle treatment options to give you customized individual care you deserve. Don't forget, they've been voted the number one orthodontist in the Tulsa area. They have two locations, one in Broken Arrow and one in Midtown. You can go visit them at emersonbraces.com. That's emersonbraces.com. Second end goal from the 10. Typical, but you'll see from a young running back who probably has been faster than most defenses he has played growing up. And when you come out to varsity, your first inclination is to bounce it outside and use that speed. And that's what you see with a lot of young backs. And the experience can't take care of, but Emerson, excuse me, but Moore does have a nice quick step. Third and goal. Fake the toss sweep, going to the back corner of the end zone. It's tipped away incomplete. Nice coverage to the back of the end zone on the tight end. Patty picks it. That'll give Joe a chance to see how the field goal team is. A promising drive that ate up almost the half of the third quarter. So as slow as the first half was, the third quarter has gone as fast fast. Caballero's 25-yard field goal attempt into the win is good. What a leg. That a boy, Dominic. Timeout, 38-6 your score, 6.26 left to play here in the third quarter. The Commandos cash in points on that opening drive. This is Commando football. You are the wonder in my Wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up. highest quality homes at affordable prices. <laughs> Family owned and operated. Don't forget to go see Mike and Brenda Harrison. They have been serving the Tulsa area for over 15 years. And you will not believe what you can do with a prefab or modular home design today. 
Create your custom home inside and out. And the Harrisons helping good people find a great home at Lifeway Homes. You can see them online at lifewayhomes.net. Lifewayhomes.net, 918-621-4663. First and 10 for the Lions. Hilger with the high snap and trying to make something of it. And he finds the receiver on the far side and he is belted out of bounds at the 44, but flags flying everywhere. They both flew at the same time, so I'm sure we have some people downfield. Yep, ineligible receiver downfield, so that negates the game. It's also a loss of down. Marks the penalty back to the 33-yard line. First and 16, the zone read, nothing there. Grant Phillips with a nice penetration in the backfield. He held him up long enough for J.J. Peters, his defensive line teammate, to push him down. Loss of one brings up second and 18. 5.36 to play here in the third quarter. The Commandos with a six minute drive to open the second half that resulted in three points on Dominic Caballero's 25 yard field goal. Two receivers right. One started a little early, and they will get him on it. The Lions just digging themselves a grave here on their first possession of the second half. Don't forget, we'll be at Hall and Hall next week. Can't wait to beat the crap out of them. As we do most years. Done a good job making sure that that rivalry has been completely one sided and no fun for one side. And that would be the side around 81st Street. Second and forever. The Lions trying to get something back on second down. Pushed out of bounds. There's a the running back by Wilson and Byers and Dillon. Comes up a little gippy. Stretch that leg out. Looks to be a cramp. Be the first one we've seen tonight. Ball at the 28 yard line, need to get to the 48, so third and 20, third and 21. And the draw play up in the middle. up on that. He was five yards shy. And there was only one man in front of him. Makes a juke or something. He's got the first down and maybe more, but he just strolled it out of bounds. Like it wasn't anything. Interesting. Fourth and five for the Lions. Again, they have been across midfield just once tonight. Hard count and a snap away. Let's see. Boom. They have a false start. and I think they snapped it to try to get him off sides. I'm not real sure why they got grab it, but we'll take it because we're the home team and it's our broadcast. So after the five yard penalty, fourth and nine. It's the second time they've gone to that hard count. The first time we did jump. Nobody jumps that time. Last time. Dropped Hilger, the quarterback, back in New York, and he punted. And now that's definitely a false start. Go on, grab it. And the entire right side of the offensive line decided it was time to go. So third and nine becomes, or excuse me, fourth and nine becomes fourth and 14.
finally changed the line marker. The first game for everybody, the scoreboard still says third down. Now the marker finally says fourth. And grab it, gives up, and we'll punt. They do have a little bit of a breeze behind them. Their best pick tonight. Sails over the hill. Pushed out at the 20. That's never good on a punt return. Flag back at the 20. Cashin will start this drive deep in their own territory. Yep, and it is a block in the back. Big shout out again to another one of our sponsors tonight, Route 66 Dental Impacts, or Dental Implants. Excuse me, taking the football too much. Dental implants and periodontics. Located at 45 of 45 South Harbor, Route 66 Dental is equipped with the latest technology in 3D imaging, virtual implants, laser surgery, and much, much more. You can schedule your appointment with Dr. David Wong, an Oklahoma native and board certified periodontologist who's just as much fun as he is professional. You can find out yourself by calling 918-749-1850. It's 918-749-1850. On first down, the commandos chewing yards up. Nine or ten yards at a time. That's Jace Ward. He's got plenty of action here in the second half. Nice run of seven yards for the freshman, Ward. Inside of four minutes to go, 38-6 your score. Jace again over the left side. Flag in late by the umpire. Well, that's gonna be a hold, I'm sure. That may be the first hold of the game. I believe it is. There are only a couple flags in the first half. The officials convened at halftime and decided they were not big enough part of the game, so that had to change. And it's certainly changing in the third quarter. After the holding penalty, it'll be second and 11. Clock moving, 3.39 to play. The Commandos up again, 38-6 they led. 35-6 at the half, fake to the fullback. And it's on the counter, Ward puts his head down to the 15. I like this freshman, Mike, he's got some quickness. And the six yard run makes third down a little more manageable, third and five. Let's see if we can't come up with a nice little play here to keep this drive going. Again, grab it with their second head coach in as many years. And you, the complete opposite of what Joe Medina has established over here at Kasha. Third down pass to Byers, caught at the first down marker. That should be enough, 19. Yes, move the chains. Nice catch and throw by Henderson and Byers. moving third quarter two tight end set fullback the commandos keeping it on the ground Mike who's that in there at fullback now is it Clark so Ethan Clark, another freshman, in there at fullback. Five yards for Ethan there on first down. Inside of two minutes. Cash seems content and just grind it out. And Ethan Clark with a huge push by the offensive line up across the 30. That'll be enough to move the chains. Stops the clock with a minute. 47 left to play.
Joe trying to send a message after the rough first half on the ground. They fake to the fullback. And keep it with the freshman tailback. Again, a big, huge shout out to Banning CS, title sponsor of tonight's broadcast. They're based in Tulsa. They offer the highest quality and the best cost IT telecommunication solution. They're an industry leader in technology design and installation, and they provide services to government contracts all over the world. A staff that is 33% veterans. And veteran-owned small business here in Tulsa. You cannot beat it. Banning CS, a proud sponsor of tonight's broadcast. You can see them online at banningcs.com. That's banningcs.com. Or give them a shout. Don't forget, they're putting IT all together. 918-394-4450. to score. A timeout by Kasha. This is Commando Football. You are the wonder in my wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up. After the timeout, second and five, we'll call it four and a half. Four cash up from their own 35, uh, just under a minute to play. They lead 38-6. Commando staying with that two tight end set, keeping it on the ground, fake to the fullback. And tailback across the 40, 45, and finally pushed out of bounds is Jace Ward, freshman. Enough for a first down. That will stop the clock. From their own 46, 47 seconds left, and up 38-6. Trying to send a message. Wanting to get that ground game going, and they have done it. Again on the counter. Ward spins. Nice spin move as he was hit at the line of scrimmage. And the spin move gets him up to the 44. I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Dr. Zellner and Associates, another proud sponsor of tonight's game. Don't forget, they have over 120 years of combined doctoral experience. Dr. Z and Associates are proud to offer you the $99 deal covering an eye exam and a stylish pair of eyeglasses. They have been setting the eye care standard in Tulsa for over 25 years. And you can visit them at either of their two locations. Second and six, Clark, the fullback, has some space on the far side, pushed out of bounds. <laughs> At the grab at 27 yard line. Now as scrambled as the offensive line play and running game was in the first half, it's been just as good here in the second half. And that run by Clark takes us to the end of the third quarter. Don't forget to go see Dr. Zeden Associates at one of their two locations. One on Harvard, give them a shout, 918-749-2020. Or over on Memorial, 918-461. 2020 or drzellner.com. That's the end of the third quarter. We go to the fourth. The Commando is driving. They are up 38 6. This is Commando football. You can sit there. No, I'm trying to like, sit down and tear up. I should have worked out before this morning. I'm feeling <laughs> I had personal training yesterday morning and I'm still sore. Banning CS is a service disabled veteran owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting edge technology, we offer a full suite of low voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not going to drop it. 
providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. Banning CS is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. positive yards is what Ward is doing. Nice run by the freshman. Down to the 22 yard line. Brings up a manageable third and four. Only three points scored in that third quarter. That was the commandos on their opening drive of the second half as they rolled off half of the third quarter on a drive that resulted in a 25 yard Dominic Caballero field goal. That changed the halftime score to 38-6, from 35-6 to 38-6. Clark on third down, gets a half yard. Bring up fourth at about two, two and a half. Let's see what Joe decides to do here. Nine on the play clock. Rouse with plenty of time. One receiver left, one right. Toss sweep. Looking for he gets inside the 18. That would be close to a first down, but several penalty markers down. So I'm sure a hold. I guess they were shy of the. Holding penalty has declined. It'll be a one yard gain on fourth and two and a half. And the Lions take over with 9.52 to play here in the fourth quarter. Hilger still in there at quarterback. On the ground, Carlos Fernandez, a sophomore, 5'7", 145 pounds, excuse me, that's 145, since I can't talk. Gain of two and a half. Lots of scoring in the first half. It's been somewhat quiet here in the second half. On second down, great penetration up front for the Commandos. They'll drop the running back for a loss. It's Luke Baber, the junior. Brings up a third and nine. 8.44 on the clock. 
Two receivers left for Hilker. He'll keep it with Hernandez on the ground. And right up the middle met by Luke Wilson. Don't forget tonight's game brought to you by Lifeway Homes, providing the highest quality homes at affordable prices. Family owned and operated. It's the most important thing. Mike Harrison, his wife Brenda, they've been serving the Tulsa area for over 15 years. They'll be blown away. Unbelievable what they can do with a prefab or modular home design nowadays. Create your custom home inside and out. Go see them, lifewayhomes.net. That's lifewayhomes.net. Or give Harrison's a call, 918-621-4663. And finally, the punt team for Gravit succumbs to their ineptitude. They had been lucky to get several punts off earlier. Their luck ran out, disjointed all the way. And don't forget Hilbert, their starting quarterback, is their punter. Probably their best athlete. And he couldn't get it off. And he tripped over the turf monster back at the seven. That's where Cash Hall takes over. And as many freshmen as we have seen tonight for the Commandos, I think it is just about the freshman team way out. Lots of substitutions. Mike, you're going to have to help me and get your binoculars. Frederick Rouse still in at quarterback, though. Cooper Mullen, who had been battling for the quarterback job, was injured. He'll be out for a while. And a timeout taken by Cassius, so we'll take a timeout as well. 7.40 left to play here in the fourth quarter. After the failed punt by the Lions, the Commandos with great field position at the Lions 7. Up 38-6, this is Commando Football. Hey folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look. So Rouse in there at quarterback. With 7.40 left to play. Bo Hansen in at fullback. Ash Evans at your tailback. And it'll be Ash with the carry. And Blevins gets down near the five yard line. Joe content with taking the entire play clock and winding this game down and getting out of here with any injuries. It appears we have done that thus far. A boatload of injuries is what helped in Cash's season early last year. Left a very sour taste in their mouth. High snap, Rouse secures it. But unfortunately, the fullback dropped immediately. It's hands in the fullback. It'll be a loss of one. Third and goal from the six for the Commandos. 35-6 was your score at half. A field goal in the third quarter made it 38-6, and that's where we stand here as we approach midway through the fourth quarter. One receiver split right, toss sweep. Looking for room is the tailback Blevins. Not a lot there. Just inside the five to the four, so fourth and goal. It's fourth and goal, and fourth down for the Commandos. Let's go, boys! Let's stop! A lot of good game experience for a lot of these young kids. It'll be interesting to see. Mike, I don't remember seeing so many freshmen play an impact, especially a first game of the year as we had early on in this game before the reserve time. Mentioned how big a freshman class was. And a 
good run. Fourth down carry by Blevins will fall short. Gets down near the two. The Lions stop. They cannot take advantage of the muff punt and the great field position. Ball is turned over to grab it. Next week we'll be on the road at Holland Hall. Well, we, I will not be, Mike will be, the rest of the crew will be. I will be in Chicago watching my nephew graduate Navy boot camp. And a timeout on the field by Grabbit, so we'll take a timeout as well. 5.37 left to play here in the fourth quarter. The Commandos with a nice, nice performance here, especially in the second half here in the opening game of the 2019 season. They lead 38-6 here late in the fourth. This is Commando Football. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting edge technology, we offer a full suite of low voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not gonna drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. Substitution at quarterback for Grabbit as well, as they've got some of their reserves in. The quarterback keeper on first down, just trying to get out in the shadows of their own goalpost. Again, can't say thanks enough to all of our sponsors tonight. That includes Route 66 Dental Impact, Dental Implants, and Periodontics. They're located over at 4545 South Harvard. Don't forget they are equipped with the latest technology in 3D imaging, laser surgery, and virtual implants. You can go online and schedule your appointment with Dr. David Wong at Route66Implants.com. That's Route66Implants.com. Second down run over the right side. Gets maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Third and long for grab it. Cash is showing blitz. They got up there a little too quick. And third and nine now becomes third. Seven o'clock kickoff next week at Holland Hall. A late substitution on the field for gravity. And they finally get their formation set. Trips to the left, high snap. And a nice job by the quarterback getting out, but he is obliterated at the 11. It's brought down hard. Nice hard hit there for Kasha. There's a real Hoogeman on the tackle. Mike, I'll give you $100. You can spell it. Mike's not taking me up on my armor. 340 left to play, fourth and short for the Lions. 38-6 your score. As we talked about, lots of good game experience for a lot of the young kids here. Unfortunately, with that comes lack of reps and mistakes, and the yellow hankies have been on the field quite a bit. Flags down right now. I'll start on the offense. False start by the Lions, backs it up five. Just trading penalties back and forth. Banning, excuse me. The 
punt by Gravit. Goes back. And you saw it on video, so I don't need to explain the beauty in that punt. That was pretty cool. Mike, I need the official yardage on that punt. Hopefully at the one, because that would be a negative punt. Please. Yes, they're spotting it at the one. Negative five on the punt. That'll ruin your average. I've never seen a you can't make this up. And now things are getting chippy with all the reserves in. And while they sort that out, I want to say thanks again to Banning CS for being one of the proud sponsors of tonight's broadcast. Don't forget, small business, a staff that is, employs a ton of military veterans, owned by a veteran. They're committed to flawless execution, 100% customer satisfaction. They're based in Tulsa. They offer the highest quality and best cost IT telecommunication solutions. They provide services to government contracts all over the world. Industry leader in technology design and installation. They put IT all together. Go see them. BanningCS.com. That's BanningCS.com. 918-394-4450. First and ten for Cash Up. Max Weller on the carry. That's the second Weller that's had a carry tonight. If you're keeping score at home. In there at quarterback is Ben Claflin, a sophomore. After the unsportsmanlike conduct, it's third and goal from the 19. I want you to remember that we just received a punt that was down at the punting team's one yard line. That'll be the highlight from tonight's game. Short run on third down, brings up fourth down as we're inside of two minutes to play here. In the game. 38-6 your score. And mercifully, the way this last few minutes has gone, the game coming to a close. Toss me to younger Weller. He puts his head down, gets a couple, but not enough. This again, it was fourth and goal from the 17. So the turnover on downs with a minute and a half to play. Lions take over, 38-6 the score. Tell everyone, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, wherever you are located at and wherever you are at and have access to the internet at. Lots of ways you could spend your Friday night. We certainly appreciate you tuning in and watching your commandos. And this year, get to watch the video of the game. And, well, Toss sweep on first down. Nice open field tackle. Coming near side. Commando, that's Chase Moody, the junior, on the tackle. That'll take us inside of one minute to play. Temporarily. 
And last but not least, another thank you to Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates for their sponsorship of tonight's game. They've been setting the eye care standard in Tulsa for over 25 years. Don't forget, you can go visit the doctors at either of their two Tulsa area locations. Or you can book the right exam for you by going online at drzellner.com. That's drzellner.com. Don't forget, they have the $99 deal covering an eye exam and a stylish pair of eyeglasses. Give them a shout, 749-2020 over on Harvard or on Memorial at 918-461-2020. And with that, this one is over. 38-6, your final. Mike, that sounds eerily similar to what the score was last year over in Gravit. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have the halftime statistics and a conversation with head coach Joe Medina. Asha wins the season opener here at home over the Lions from Gravit, 38-6. This is Commando Football. We'll be back after this. CS is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business with a primary focus on government contracting. We have the most diversely cross-trained technical professionals on the planet. With a focus on cutting-edge technology, we offer a full suite of low-voltage services. You give us the ball, we're not going to drop it. Providing design and engineering services for telecommunications, life safety, and physical security. Like myself, we employ 33% military veterans. And me, a Purple Heart recipient from Afghanistan. Fanning CS, putting IT all together. Stevie, what are you doing? I'm padding up, Trish. This year, I'm going to make Video Rev's starting lineup. You know that Video Rev's first string is made up of sales associates, seasoned installers, and service techs who have been all pro when it comes to home entertainment for over 30 years. Plus, football season's the best time to get the greatest prices on Sony's latest 4K high dynamic range smart TVs. I think I want to be an entertainment champion at Video Revolution, too. Well, don't forget to pad up. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. You are the wonder in my wonderful. You put the happy in my happiness. The girl of my dreams is the peaches to my cream. The sugar in my cup. I'll gladly let you fill it up. Hey folks, it's Mike at Lifeway Homes. This is our 15th year here. You know, the favorite thing that we have to do here at Lifeway Homes is to help your family move into your new custom home in a quick and timely fashion. We have new homes, we have used homes, we allow you to customize your brand new manufactured home or we even do modular homes here at Lifeway. You know, factory built housing today is completely different than what you remember in the past. If you haven't seen a new manufactured or a modular home, you've got to come down to Lifeway and take a look. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back. Casha wins the season opener here at home. 38-6. Here, final score. A quick rundown of the post-game statistics. Brought to you by Mike Porter Incorporated. First down, Snipe Casha with 16. Grab it with five. The commandos with 170 yards on the ground. They ended the first half with 60. They started pounding it in the second half. 46 carries, 170 yards. 46 for a buck 70. Through the air, 13 of 22 for 210 yards. So 380 total for Kasha. They lost two fumbles tonight and had seven penalties for 65 yards. For the Lions from Gravit, Arkansas, 55 yards on the ground, 55 yards through the air. So 110 total yards for the Lions. They were three of nine through the air for that 55 yards. And they averaged less than a yard and a half per carry. 32 carries, 55 yards. They punted five times for an average of 22 yards. Can that be right, Mike? 22 with a negative punt? Oh, that's right. Four fumbles, they lost two of them. So three, turtle turn three total turnovers for the Lions. And five penalties for 28 yards. At the end of the first quarter, Kasha was up 14 nothing. They tacked on two more touchdowns before Gravit got on the board. They missed the extra point. That made it 28-6. And then Kasha, with a late touchdown in the first half, went up 35-6. The Commandos opened the second half, received the second half kickoff, and milked half the third quarter on their opening drive. It stalled out. Dominic Caballero converted a 25-yard field goal attempt, and that put the good guys up 38-6. And that was it for the scoring. That puts us at your final score, 38 to six. Individual statistics for Kasha on the ground. Jake Weller, nine carries, 28 yards. Wilman, five carries, nine yards. Henderson, two carries for eight yards with a one yard touchdown run. Wilson, seven carries, 22 yards with two touchdown carries. Ward, the freshman, Got the bulk of the carries in the second half. He had 12 carries, 56 yards. Clark, the fullback, four carries, 36 yards. Blevins, three for seven. Hanson, two for zero. And the second Weller got in the game late. Two carries, three yards. Leading receiver tonight for the Commandos. That was Sage, two catches, 67 yards, two for 67. Byers, three for 28. Pixley, one for 24. And Zach Uran got the scoring started on the first play after Gravit fumbled their first play. The Commandos turn around, and Henderson hooked up with Zach on a 38-yard touchdown pass. They got the scoring started and the game going for the Commandos. Zach ends two, with two catches for 45 yards. One of those, a 38-yard Touchdown catch. And those are your post-game statistics. Again, Kasha wins 38-6. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, Joe Medina will make his way up here at some point after he gets done talking to all the... Oh, there he is, right there. Looky there. He's quick. He's in camouflage. I didn't even see him. So we won't go to a timeout. We'll just go ahead and go to Joe. Which one's his mic so I make sure he's on here? There we go. Let me see. There we go. I think we're good, Joe. You there? Talk yep, to me. I'm here. All right, we got you, buddy. All right, 38-6. Uh, you get the win. Uh, lots of nice things out there tonight. I'm sure you got to be happy. Didn't look like any major injuries, so. No, just a couple cramps, which is pretty normal, even though today is a little bit cooler than your normal first game of the season. Yeah. But uh, very happy, very workmanlike effort. You know, uh, we started fast, got the fumble right away, and then took the shot. And um, really, I was really, really happy to see Zach Uran after, yeah. you know, getting hurt last year and having the two hip surgeries to catch that first ball uh, for the touchdown. And he played a great game on yeah. defense as yeah, well. Yeah, we called his name a lot. You got off to that fast start. The ground game was workmanlike, I thought. And then I thought the second half, 
on the opening drive. You guys milk six minutes off of it. Typical cash it drive. But I thought things were a little more cohesive up front in the ground game for you guys in the second half. Do you feel the same way after halftime? Yeah, you know, we told them, you know, that was the big thing. We weren't very consistent offensively in the first half. We could hit the big play. We would go forward and, and, and have, have a good drive, and then we would just get you know, shut down and, and either you know, have, have a real short, short game or nothing. nothing. Um, um, but Jackson, Jackson played well. well. You know, Jackson, Jackson, again, he's, he's just a winner. He just, just knows how, how to manage a game and, and, and make the big play when, when he needs to. You know, the strike that he threw over there to the left yeah. Yeah. was a heck of a play on his left to really you know, yeah. rip that ball in there. So it was really good. And we talked about in the broadcast how comfortable he looks on the run, rolling to his left, rolling to his right. And throwing. Uh, talk, talk about your about defense you and what you thought of your guys. They uh, they were all over them early. Um, a couple containment issues, perhaps. But but besides that, I think you got to be really pleased with what you saw on defense. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously they didn't give us a lot of uh, athletic threat, you know, there, and we kind of fell asleep there at the end when they got the long pass, got the long pass, 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 pass and back. I think that score. Score. But oh yeah, you're right. I, I think yeah, you right. saw you know, saw the bar. We don't have as quick as quick events. 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 But overall, just a really good effort. It would have been nice to keep it to zero, but again, credit them. They got the big play, and then they cashed in there. Again, their quarterback threw a really good ball for the score. Off his back foot, too, so he what kind of arm strength. And he was running for his life most of the game, too, and I know he's leaving a bit battered. Special teams, Dominic comes out, nails the 25-yarder. Stays busy on kickoffs. Your thoughts on special teams after the first week? Well, we got to work our kickoff team. I mean, obviously, uh, we gave them some seams on the outside, so we'll take a look at that on tape and fix it. And if you've got to make some personnel changes, we'll do that. Had some opportunities there at the end to keep the field goals, but why? You know, and then we, we, we got to work with the, the number one field goal unit, so. That's kind of one of those catch 22s. Do you kick, kick a field, field goal or do you go for it? And if you go, go for it, you go for first it, down or not down the touchdown. Down touchdown. He's, he's, he's a young coach. coach. Um, ironic um, story ironic here. Story. His, his father, father was, was the head coach, coach John Bowman, was, was the head coach at Okima in the 1989 state championship game. So, wow. And he's now the AD over at Ball. Small world it is. It is a small world. It all comes back. Real quick before I let you go. Big, big freshman, freshman class for you guys, yes. and I tell you what, I don't remember so many freshmen having such an impact in the game, especially the first game of the year. Talk about not got me afraid to use those guys and the way they stepped up and played tonight. Well, number one, we had the numbers again. You know, if you remember last year, I think we only had nine freshmen. Now we got it some to that current sophomore class. This freshman class is over 20. Um, they're very talented. They have a lot of different body types. We have true linemen, big linemen. We have very skilled people. You saw the two freshman running backs uh, run really well. And then Aiden Hicks, who was very impressive last year as an eighth grader. They had him playing in tight end. That kid's a white receiver. And you can see why. So, and again, it's a learning, it's a learning process. process. Uh, I don't know how much we'll see him next week against Hall and Hall, because that's going to be a big step up in play. But, at, at least, least they got, got their first varsity yeah. experience, and, and the, the future is really bright, bright for the kids, kids that play a lot and the kids that uh, got in there at the end with that class. Well, Coach, well, coach it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a win, win. and you, you saw, saw a lot uh, that you can go back and correct on. saw a lot that, hey, that's, that's a good job. That's the way we want things done. But again, step up with competition next week against Hall and Hall. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, they're really good. You know, they've added a lot of pieces as they do every single year. But they're really good. And in playing over there, as many games as you've seen over there, that's, yeah, that's a hard, a hard play, play for us to play. play. I, mean, we, I, think I think it caught up too much in the motion, and, and, and we always end up playing from behind. So, so that'll be a thing this year is you know, try to play from in front and have, have them play from behind against, against our defense. defense. So. Well, Coach, it was a lot of fun, especially to get the season started um, with a victory. And again, uh, looking forward to next week, a big big matchup against Tall and Hall. But soak this one in. Congratulations. You get the season started off right. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. good. And I was I just thinking here, Kevin, this is year 21 for me. For me. I think 19 for you. Yeah, yeah. With the, yeah I mean, we're just getting old. We are. Getting old. Thank you. Getting better looking. I, I don't know about that for me, but uh, getting old is correct. But, uh, yeah, great way to start it uh, with a win tonight. And, uh We'll look forward to doing it again next week against Hall and Hall. Sounds good. Thank, thank you guys, guys very much, and thank you to the production crew for our first uh, live, uh, live stream game. I had a lot of fun doing it. A lot of fun. It worked out well, and I think it's, uh, we'll uh, find tweak some stuff, and it's going to be a uh, it'll be a lot of fun the rest of the year. And, and uh, certainly excited for everyone to be on board with the broadcast and 
enable us to do stuff like this and for all the fans out at home to be able to watch their commandos on Friday night. It's a, it's a win-win, so it's been a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next week. All right, that's head coach Joe Medina. The commandos victorious tonight. They defeat the Lions from Gravit, Arkansas, 38-6. We'll talk to you guys next Friday night, 7 o'clock kickoff at Holland Hall. So make sure you're either there or online to watch it as the good guys go up against the bad guys and we try to win like we normally do over there. Um, 7 o'clock kick next week against Holland Hall. Until then, for head coach Joe Medina, Mike Porter, the rest of the staff, I'm Kevin Thames. Final score for the final time from Father Hamo Field at Ray Siegfried Stadium. The Commandos get started on the right foot. They win 38-6. We'll talk to you guys next Friday night. In the meantime, have a wonderful evening and a great holiday weekend. So long, everybody.